We're not here! I shouldn't keep reading that, love. Well, look, won't you eat something? A bit of toast, at least. Mr Dingo, there might be money in there. Where's that when you need him? Go away! He won't, you know. They will eventually. Unless some rattlesnake lets them in. I wouldn't dream of it. Have your tea, love. Come on. Shame, though, we could be minting it. The killer in our mist. You! She's not coming downstairs now. It'll help when Kane gets out. Well, that'll be weeks off. Anyway, it doesn't mean much when your mum's been put away for life. Oh, if I have to tell you one more time! Jumping with it. I don't know you've got the nerve to show your face here. Come on, Mr Dingle, she wasn't the easiest person to defend. Oh, so you only win easy cases. I'm already working on her appeal. We've got a good case for it. Hey, Sandra, uh. you will stay here if I have to nail you to that armchair. And don't yeah. think I'm joking, because I am not! A uh, cup of tea? Uh, yeah, thanks. Mm. Um, as I was saying... The judge should never have allowed Charity's previous convictions to be brought up. Character assassination, yes, once she'd let rip at Zoe. Previous convictions, no. So, anyway, it's good news. <laughs> right. I'll go and tell Debbie. She's dead upset. She's just upset about her ma'am. She won't have gone far. Hey, do you want me to go and have a look? Sit. I think she's probably slipped out the back. Probably just needs a bit of time on her own. There's a lot to take in. Yeah, certainly not much privacy here. Yeah, the press are all over the place. Oh, I don't mean that. All the same, I think I'll go and have a look for her, make sure she's all right. I'll come out with you if you like. Help you run the gauntlet. Quieter than you were the last time you were here, aren't you? Full of my mum's innocent. You were then, weren't you? She's hope it's really not, not the... what the papers say now, though, is it? Oi, Debbie! You little brat! You can pay for those. Deb... Hang on, Debbie. I'll come with you. You asked for that. I never liked her. Her mum's just gone to prison for life. Her dad's in prison. She's got no one. You can be a very cruel and heartless woman sometimes, Mrs Hope. Emily! I've no further wish to speak to you. Have you been talking to Debbie all this time? What's the matter? Didn't you catch up with her? Shall I make you a nice cup of tea? I know, I could have one with you. We could have it in our Emily and Mrs Hope mugs. Talk to me, Emily. I can't bear this. Have you found Debbie? No, no sign of her yet. I mean, Sam and Zach are out looking for her now. They've tried looking all along the river. I've phoned school, of course, I mean, but... Then I've looked in the fields, I've looked at the cricket pavilion, I've looked at oh. Village Hall, but all the usual kids' places, twice. Diane hasn't seen around the pub. Debbie's gone messy. Oh, Shadrach said so much stupid this morning. And then Mrs Hope were right out of order in shop. She's been apologising ever since. Well, it doesn't help find Debbie, does it? Oh, I don't know what to do or where to look. She was in such a state about her mum. Well, should we phone the police, do you think? Oh, no, no, no. Debbie's right strong. I'm sure she'll turn up. Well, I mean, it's not every day your mum gets put away for life, is it? No. Look, if she's not back before bedtime, we'll call them. We've been looking for you everywhere. Me and Lisa. How, how did you get in? Still got a key. I forgot. It's freezing in here. Let's get the eating on. They've been here all day. You must be like ice. Come on, let's get this round you. Is it all my fault? Sorry? 
Mum was happy with Chris and he was with her. My dad was doing all right until I came along. If I had turned up and no one knew about me, Chris would still be alive and I wouldn't have be in prison. Debbie, if you hadn't turned up and no one had ever known about you, well, a lot of people would have missed out. Me, Paddy, Lisa, Zach, and most of all, your mum and dad. I used to worry about Charity being your mum. I didn't think she'd be able to cope. I knew she was afraid at the start. But then I saw how she and Kane grew to love you and how happy you made them both. And I knew it was the best thing that could have happened. Debbie, your mum is sat in prison and she's thinking about you. And she's living in hope. And it's the thought of you that's keeping her going. Come in. Come in. Oh, Emily, you found her. Just came to say. Sorry, again. Mrs. Hope. It... You're speaking to me. Well, you've come at the right time. You can apologise to the right person. Not to me, to Debbie. Sorry, Debbie. So I'll see you tomorrow, then. Debbie, love, we've been so worried about you. I have to go into care. <laughs> of course not. You don't think me and Zach would ever let you go now, do you? And your dad'll be out in one or two weeks. Has Emily told you about the appeal? Yeah, but everyone has those, don't they? Oh, no, they don't, love. Only if people think they've got a real good chance and the solicitor thinks your mum has got a good chance. He says the judge made some mistakes, allowed some things to happen that should never have. Come on, Debbie, love. You're a dingle. You've got to think of this trouble as a sort of baptism because the dingles have always got trouble, haven't they? Look at your dad. Your trouble's come a bit younger than I'd like, but... You've got to learn to deal with it, like your dad, like all of us. The world might knock us back, but we don't give up. We fight back. Fight back? Yeah, that's right, love. Your mum hasn't given up, so fight back. Your sounds good. Yeah, I'll tell them. I love you too, mum. Bye. Feeling better now, love? Now you've talked to her on the phone? Yeah. And you've got some food in your belly? Much better, yeah. Thanks, Lisa. You can't fight on an empty stomach. No, I know. Hmm. Um, Lisa, I was just wondering if I could go for a walk now the reporters have gone. Oh, well, I don't see why not. But you will come back this time, won't you? Because you remember that this is your home now, no matter what. Yeah, I will. Thank you. tell you what you are. You're evil. You get out of here. What you've done is the worst thing. You've let my mum go to prison when she's innocent. You helped to send her there. She's not innocent, Debbie. Well, she's making an appeal. And it'll all come up in a couple of months and she'll get out and she'll be free, you'll see. And when she does, you just better be Don't careful. Don't you threaten me! Because we'll win in the end, Zoe. You just watch out, that's all. You just watch out.